scriptures were teaching about the multiverse long before Dr. Strange ruined everything. What the scriptures are actually telling us is that you are a multi-dimensional creature. That if you're outside of Christ, if you have not opened up your life to God, you are trapped into time and space. See, what you can't identify is your soul suffocating because you're trapped in time and space. You feel it. You see, when, you, when, you, when you're trapped in time and space, you're no different than a jackal or a rabbit or a giraffe or a hippopotamus. You are trapped, confined like a created creature in time and space, but you are not designed for that. You are designed with a soul. You are an eternal creature. And so when you open up your life to God and allow Jesus to change you, you are now translated into a multi-dimensional reality. You are seated here in Hollywood, and you're seated there in the heavenlies at the same time. The problem, of course, is perspective. Where do you see your life from? Because if you see your life trapped in time and space, you're always going to feel as if you're suffocating. But if you see your life from the vantage point of eternity, you're always going to have perspective. You ever have a moment that just feels overwhelming to you? A moment that you just, it just feels so heavy and so hard that you don't know if you can find the strength to get past it. That's because you're convinced that you're trapped in time. Now imagine if, if in that moment you could realize, oh, I've already lived this moment. I'm actually seeing myself from the vantage point of eternity. Wouldn't it be great if in your hardest moments you had someone always cheering you on? You know, someone who just look at you and go, no, it's okay. You got this. This, this too will pass. This, this moment is just temporary. I'm not sure why, but when I was 16 or 17 years old and I did a lot of stupid things, that's not what I'm confused about. What I'm confused about <laughs> is I would tell myself this. In 20 years, this isn't going to matter. Somewhere along the way in my teenage years, maybe from all the dumb things I did, because there were times I just felt like I was suffocating. Suffocating from my bad choices. Suffocating from my stupidity. Suffocating from my lack of wisdom. Suffocating from my short-sightedness. I was just suffocating from being me. And I would tell myself, in 20 years, this isn't going to matter. The problem is that some things actually do matter 20 years later, but at least it made me feel better. But what would happen if, if there's someone who had the vantage point of eternity looking at you and saying, you got through this moment. Not, 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 you're going to get through this moment, but you, you got through this moment. Say, so what, what would you do? What would, what would it be like if you could actually hear that person look at you and say, I remember when you felt like this. I remember when you were being crushed by the weight of that failure. You overcame it. And that person, as wonderful as it would be that it, would, it were God, that person is actually you. It's the future version of you trying to tell you that you got this. Try and tell you that you are limitless. You are boundless. You are more than what you can see. Well, how would you engage every day of your life if you knew you were more than just a creature trapped inside of time and space? How would you enter a room if you knew I am also seated in the heavenlies? I've got premier seating in eternity. So this is what I know about myself. I am alive. I don't have to wait till I die. I already died. I took care of it. I changed the order. I confused reality. I am the singularity. And I can get up and I can look in the mirror and even though I feel bounded, 
I feel trapped. I feel limited. I feel like I'm not enough. If I can remember that I'm seated in the heavenlies, I can remember I am limitless. I'm unbounded by all the limitations that my mind tells me hold me back. Imagine if you could begin to see yourself as a creature already thriving in eternity, playing it out in history. There is infinity erupting in your soul. And God has destroyed every boundary that could ever hold you back. For you are seated in the heavenlies.